Hello. Today we're going to be talking about mobile configurations. There are three types of mobile configurations. Responsive web design, dynamic serving and separate URLs. I'm going to be taking you through all of these, explaining what they are and the main pros and cons of each mobile configuration. So firstly with responsive web design. Responsive web design keeps the same HTML code and URL as the desktop website. The only difference is, is how the website actually looks. This is done by media queries which help to render the page differently and by a viewport which sizes a page down to the device's screen. So the pros, main pros are authority consolidation. As, the, uh, as a responsive web website is on the same URL, any link juice that's passed to that URL doesn't have to be then passed on again to the mobile, the, the desktop equivalent as you realize with, with later on with uh, separate URLs. It's all consolidated on just the one URL. Uh, as it's one HTML file, you know, there's, there's not multiple versions, it's easier to maintain. And a con is limited limitation to differ offering. If based on your research you've realized that your mobile user search is different to your desktop user, Respons responsive web design doesn't actually allow you to differ the offering. So if you actually need to target different keywords on your mobile site as you would to your desktop site, responsive web, web design doesn't allow this. Dynamic serving. Dynamic serving serves content on the same URL but with different HTML. This is, diff this is done by a very HTTP header. This helps detect the user agent dependent on the user agent is dependent on what content is being served. So if a mobile user was to visit a website, they'll be served the mobile content and vice versa with desktop. So again, like responsive web design, you have authority consolidation. Again, as it's on the same URL, all the link juice that's passed through to the URL stays in, on one URL. No duplicate content concerns. I mean, this is the same as responsive web design, but as the HTML changes, this is obviously, this, this could be a concern. So no duplicate content concerns. As we're on the same URL again, um, we, we're sort of make, Google and crawlers alike are aware that you know there's, you, you're not duplicating the content across your website. This is on just the one page. And then the con is two implementations needed. As I mentioned, the HTML does change. So you've got different files for different devices that you need to maintain. As with responsive web design, you have the one file. With dynamic serving, you have the two. Separate URLs. Separate URLs are separate HTML files and URLs. So this is often done on a uh, subdomain or directory level, quite often subdomain. Um, and so you're, you're serving different content on a different URL dependent on the device that's viewing the website. So if a mobile user was to visit a, a domain, a desktop domain, so for example, next to something similar, uh, if a mobile user was to visit Next website, they in theory should be redirected to their mobile website. That doesn't happen, but that's what should be the case. Um, the pros with separate URLs is the main pro is to the ability to differ offering. Because it's, se it's, because it's a separate HTML, you're able to target different keywords. If like similar to what I've mentioned up here, if you found that your mobile user searches differently to your desktop user, then you may want to target different keywords to target that specific type of user. One of the big concerns for separate URLs is duplicate content. With separate URLs, you have a RAL alternate which notifies crawlers like Google that there is a mobile alternate to a desktop page. You have that on the desktop page of a website. And on the mobile equivalent of that desktop page, you need to have a duplicate um, a canonical tag. The canonical tag will tell Google that any link juice, any content on this page should be passed back through to the desktop equivalent. And this would remove the duplicate content concerns. And quite often this is a case, uh, this is quite a common case with websites that use separate URLs and it can often be forgotten. So these are your main mobile configurations. If you'd like more information on these or assistance in getting your site mobile friendly, then please contact us today. Thank you.